So for this invasion on the chapel, I'm actually going to show you how to do this a lot easier. So this one has the pillar puzzle, and the pillar puzzle is actually a lot easier than it looks. And there's a much faster way to do it than normal. So the pillars, the way it works, there's four slots on the pillars, and then you have to get the four symbols to align with one of the drones. And whichever location in the pillar the symbol is, is its place in the thing. So this one's a Y, so I make sure to label these with something that you could remember. So for this, it's Y, which means it's a third slot. And on this one, that's the second slot. If you see there's two dots above it, so that one cannot be it, right? So sometimes you have to find at least two usually. So this one, the Y is in the wrong slot again. And then this one over here will have to be the correct one. So this one, the Y is in the correct spot. So you could go ahead and activate this one and it will go. You could do that off of one symbol if you're lucky. Sometimes you need more, but you only really need to do one. So these are a lot easier than having to memorize all four symbol patterns like you would think you'd have to do. But after you do the pillars, you have to come grab this gun that drops from the drone, and then you go ahead and shoot these symbols. I am trying to figure out a way to make it to where you don't need two of these, but so far you always need at least two of them. Make sure you don't miss, because you could end up needing to grab three of these if you mess up. But yeah, this, these pillars are actually kind of a lot easier as Glay because you can just do all of them at once. I think it's like five hits. So key is three. I think of that one as a key. And so it can be that one. And if none of the others have a key in three, then I don't have to grab another symbol. This one has key in three as well. So I do need to grab another symbol. So now we have the moon thing with the shaft or whatever sticking out of it as two, right? So if one of these has the moon thing, this is in four, so it cannot be that one. And it just ends up being a lot faster than grabbing all of the symbols. So this one is in uh, three and one. And then this one is two and three. So this one should be the correct one. Sometimes you might forget, and if you forget, go ahead and look at the pillars again, but this should be the right one. Luckily, they both came to me at the same time, so I was good either way. <laughs> but yeah, so that's how you do the pillar puzzle. You do not need to grab all four uh, most of the time. You can grab all four, and then just remember all four, and then give names to them. But it's a lot easier to do just one of them, and then see if only one of them has that in the correct location and if only one of them does then you don't have to worry about it at all and since they are also the order of the passwords as soon as you find one of the passwords in one of these things you actually don't need to pop any of the others so this one's four i no longer need to pop a four but four is y and then as i could show you i probably don't need them all but now i would never have to pop the fourth one again if i'm doing these because the fourth one is already y it's not going to be in any of the other pillars i'm getting really unlucky on all my pillars now okay so we have y as four and then that upside down moon thing as three so if I go find one of these, this one is wrong. This one is wrong. And then this one is correct. So see, you don't need to grab all four. You could just use process of elimination and some deductive reasoning to just go ahead and grab one or two. With that one, I think I only needed one for that one. I'm not sure. I didn't really check, but I'll check on this next one. But yeah, hopefully I can figure out a way to make it to where you can do those faster right there, too. But yeah, for this one, I'll try to do just one and show you how it's possible. But yeah, there's virtually never going to be a time that you need more than two because of the odds, but sometimes you might need more than two. I just think it's going to be, and it's just going to be pretty rare. Alright. So we have the moon shafting as number two, and then I could go ahead and look around at any of these. And if more of them have it as two, so it can't be that one, 
that one has it as three, which means it's going to be this last one. So see, I only needed one symbol. I didn't need to go find all of the symbols. It is very easy to do these patterns. It is a lot easier than you would think if you are actually trying to memorize four symbols, which is just kind of ridiculous and kind of pointless, you know? I'm running low on time here. Oh, no. All right, so we have key as number two. I could go check if any of these have key as number two. So this one is key as two. And then as long as none of the others have key as two, I can just get this off of number one. So this one has no key as two. And then let's see where the last one is. And then this one has key as three. So I know that it's this one. I don't have to even worry about grabbing another symbol. And I should be good to go. I'm cutting it a little close on the timer here, mostly because I'm trying to commentate while I play. But yeah, once you get the gun, go ahead and pop the boss's shield with it. So, one more shot, and I should be good. And remember, if you are not going to beat the timer, make sure you just abandon quest, okay? Because if you are not going to beat the timer, so right now I have 30 seconds. If I don't beat the timer, if it's going to be, like, way too close at the very end, then just abandon and come back because you want to make sure you get those gold rewards. So I know I'm going to be able to kill him, and that is a gold timer while commentating. And yeah, there you guys go. That is how you beat that super easily. Uh, that is how you do the pillars way faster, way easier. You don't need to worry about remembering four symbols. So let's see. So yeah, another 1.2 million gold, and I got three of the Haley pieces. And yeah, there you go.